A day has concluded here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. The white gets the bragging right over the Bryce Young-led Crimson team. And welcome in Matt Berry, Matt Stintz come alongside. We expected the Stars would come out for the Alabama Crimson Tide today. They did so, Matt Stintz come and perhaps the best player in all of college football, Will Anderson Jr. did not disappoint. Yeah, we're talking about a team that's got a Heisman Trophy winner, but the best player is probably a guy that's playing outside linebacker, defensive end, and his presence was felt throughout this game. And it really changed the prospects for the starting offense, the ones versus ones. It proved to be a great contest throughout because you've got best on best. And in the case of Alabama, you got two of the best players in all of college football facing off. And what about Bryce Young today? You know, to me, if he had a clean pocket more often, then there's no telling what he's able to accomplish. And we saw that even harkening back to the national title game. If you can keep him upright and unpressured, you're not going to find a better quarterback. And even when things do break down, he can make something happen. But today, Proved to be a little bit too much, and of course the turnover, a bad snap early on in the opening possession. But otherwise, there's very little to worry about when it comes to the quarterback position here at Alabama. And at the end, to, to drive home that point, you saw Jalen Milrow. He showed a couple of highlights at number two. He was the backup quarterback today. We saw some good stuff out of him, his ability to run the ball, throw the ball deep. So as you said, the quarterback room is bright here at Alabama. So big picture now. The next time we'll see the Crimson Tide, September 3rd here at home against Utah State. What do you expect from this team now this year, Matt? You know, I think the real question, Mark, is a couple of spots, right? Cornerback position, new faces there, and then the passing game. Offensive front's got new offensive tackles, and then those new faces at wide receiver for Bryce Young. Can they pick up where they left off? It's going to be very difficult knowing that you know, week two, you're facing a big matchup in the Texas Longhorns on the road. Here's what we know. We said it during the broadcast. We'll say it again. The foundation of this thing has always been defense under Nick Saban. The pass rush is going to be a problem. It'll be a defensive team again. From Matt Stinscombe, I'm Matt Barry. That'll do it from A Day. Next time we see the Crimson Tide right here, September 3rd against Utah State. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.